Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you how to make some awesome coasters for your home just using some basic plywood. Let's begin. Now for this project I'm going to be using some plywood. This happens to be three quarter inch and it is birch. You don't have to have birch but it's what I had on hand. Also I'm going to be using my table sled on my table saw. You don't have to use this. You can use whatever setup you can figure out a way to cut nice even strips because you need a bunch of strips of plywood and you need to make sure they're all even. Now I do have a stop block set up here, right here, set at three quarters of an inch because I want these coasters to be roughly three quarters of an inch thick before I do any finishing and other stuff to them. When you're doing this project, make sure you keep track of your plywood whenever you're cutting it into strips. There will be tendency of some of them that have little gaps, especially when they're glued together. They're not always true all the way through, and you want to make sure that's not going to be part of your coaster. Now, there will be other segments, like this right here is a knot, and you can watch out for those, or you can leave those, or can just give it character. That is totally up to you. Now in my house, when it comes to coasters, they're about three and a half to four inches. So if you combine about five strips of three quarter inch plywood, you're gonna to come to right about three and three quarters inches. That should be perfect. Now for the first coaster, I wanna keep it really simple. We're just gonna take some of these strips and we're gonna glue them side to side so the beautiful ingrain will show. Now to do that, make sure you're gonna use some type three type glue because you don't want any kind of water in the future if it happens to get in here to accidentally pull it apart. So type three glue, let's glue these together. Now you can always use a hand sander to nice smooth these out. You can also use a belt sander if you have that. But I have a planer and I'm going to make simple work of that. Now we're going to use a chop saw to true up one end. Alright. Now we're going to measure this out to length and chop it again. Now if you start to get a little splitting on the ends when you're doing your cuts or your chop saw, you may want to set up a temporary fence so to make sure this doesn't happen. Before the temporary fence, after. Another little tip is you could possibly go around all of the edges with like a router bit, but just be careful there's a good chance when you're using the plywood that it could flake off or just break off. If you're going to try and round it off a little, I'd probably just take a, a sanding pad and just gently go over it, make sure to go in the direction that the actual pieces are laid, otherwise there's a really good chance that it'll break off on the sides. That's a great way to smooth out the edges. Now to protect these coasters, we're going to put on some urethane. So that way, not only will it help the grain stand out a little bit more, it'll also protect it from any kind of condensation from your drinks. And here's a good way to dry it. I just have some screws going through some wood. You can shed it right on top, and it's less likely to create any marks on the bottom. Now here's one example to keep in mind what not to do. I used an old piece of plywood that I had laying around that had an oil stain in it, and I did not realize that the oil stain actually penetrated all the way through into the wood. I should have known that, but I didn't. In any case, I chopped it all up, I glued them together, and it created a nice, what I thought was a burn stain, but it actually is oil that has infused itself into the wood here. So by doing that, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but the urethane over here is fully dried, but over here, it's still sticky. So anytime you're going to do this type of process, make sure that, especially if you're using old plywood, that it doesn't have any type of oil or residue stain within, or it could ruin the process. Now that you see this process is pretty much cut, glue, sand, seal, that's pretty simple. Well, let me show you some of the more complex designs that you can do. Now that you've seen the first coaster, we're going to move over to a couple other varieties. Now these are very simplistic. Here's this one, all I have is an added strip into it. It's a nice little stripe. This one here, I just turned three of them where it's side out instead of the actual nice layers. And then I just got one in the middle. There's just a simple variety that you can spin off of the original. Now here's two more awesome designs. I actually love these quite a bit. And they're very simple to make. I took a layer of eight strips that I glued together. Then I took a piece of paper that I had cut out to the size that I wanted, and I glued it at a 45 degree angle. And I just used some simple stick glue. Took this over, cut this out, 
and it now gives you this shape. Now to make the secondary one, all you need to do is make one of these first ones and then you want to cut it right in half, flip it over and glue them back together. And that is an awesome simple design. Now here is an awesome design that I love. It looks pretty random, but it's actually just alternating the pieces going from side to side and up to down. So that's a real easy way to make a really interesting and yet almost hypnotic type of coaster. Now in these last two pieces are actually very simple themselves. I just cut out the design I want and then just put some 45 degree angles on them. Same with this over here. Now this right here was just a double that had glued together and just cut 45 degree angles and that way they fit all together and I just put a nice little piece in the middle to catch your eye. And this one over here, same basic except I just used one and then I just added some random pieces in the middle. Now there's some very simple ways to make some cool coasters. And if you're going to be making a bunch of coasters, for example here, I just took a bunch of screws, put it through some plywood and have a great drawing station. Now if you'd like to keep up with more behind the scenes and things that we're doing that we may not have in videos, but we're doing it that, well, we're creating stuff and how we're doing it, I'm on Instagram, I'll put the link to that in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this project, make sure you click the like button, tell us what you think about it in the comments. Also, I have some other great projects right over here, so make sure you check those out. Otherwise, have fun building.